Hey everyone, I have a pretty quick tutorial today on something that I learned and it might be useful to others. So I have a requirement from the client to update this multi-select pick list. Uh, essentially whenever they add or remove quote line items, they want the multi-select pick list to reflect the same values for the reason being that it integrates with some external quoting platform and the best way to integrate with that is not to actually have it be based off of what's in this related list, but what's in that multi-select pick list. So I created a flow and basically I have it initiate off of the quote object. I then query for the quote line item. So quote ID equals the record which started the flow, the ID of that. And then I choose to uh, query for all records and automatically store all fields. Then I use a loop element so I select that collection variable that comes from the previous step. Uh, and then I use an assignment element. So on my first run of this, I made a variable. And the first variable I made was of the, um, the multi-select pick list type. When I gave that a shot and ran through everything, it turns out that using this variable type was not giving me success. It actually ended up concatenating all the values into a single one. And when it ended up updating the field, it was just one single value despite having, say, multiple in the quote line items. So on my second go around, what I did was make a text variable instead. So it's just uh, a variable text type open for input and output. And in my assignment element, the first thing I do is I select my products variable text, add. And what I have is... Um, in my loop, so for each item in the loop, I have a formula field on the quote line item called product name. And so depending on how your use case may apply for this, choose what field is most applicable for you. So I have the, the product name is the most um, applicable for me. And then right below that, because assignment elements execute uh, consecutively, I choose the same variable. I have another add operator and I use a colon because uh, technically when you query for multi-select pick list fields they are colon delimited and no space so just a colon by itself that's it um, I send the assignment element to go back to the loop so it loops through every item in the collection aka every single quote line item and the final after last step is I update the quote itself so use the quote record that initiated the flow I don't have any criteria and this is the multi-select pick list on my quote object. And I use that text variable I talked about before. So if I give this a test, um, as you can see, there's one item in this multi-select pick list, uh, which reflects accurately to the quote line items. Now if I add one, I just pick a random product, give it a quantity of one. I scroll down, I see it's colon delimited, and if I hit that edit button, I can see it reflects the way I want it to. Hope this helps someone. Thanks guys.